Raiders and Raiders in Training. For players who are brand new to the Skyscreen 2 mechanic, I have a video with staff tampons you can utilize. This video is for the same mechanic but with Ham, which is Heal Alarkity Mechanist. But I must tell you this even before we start, doing this mechanic with Ham is brutally challenging. Ham players have a lot more on their plate to keep under control. This is maybe doing this with Ham is great for multitaskers. On the other hand, Tempest is a friendlier option for beginners and players in training. Since I have a Tempest build in a Tempest Kiter video, links are down below. We have the luxury to compare two specs doing the same mechanic, so I'll explain Ham Kiter Green while also comparing it with Tempest Kiter Green. First thing a Ham can but the Tempest cannot do is to provide alacrity and some other booms consistently, while on the Kite Green 2 duty. I'm gonna put a note here because you technically can provide booms and alarkity with Tempest Kaiser Green too, but that's something very few players can pull off, because you have to have an incredible amount of grasp of the spec and perfect map awareness, and by all means it is possible because our static Tempest does it, but I recommend new players to only focus on Kite and Green too if they play with Tempest. With Tom you provide booms throughout the fight by keeping your mech in the range of your squad, so whatever your group is fighting, you target that enemy, send your golem and keep kiting in the range. This way your squad will have a lot of booms and you will be kiting in the range. The challenge of doing this is to send your mech to the enemy every time you lose targets, which is an enormous problem at the start because you're sometimes dealing with more than one golem and you have to retarget skeletons each time your group moves on. So this is the gist of everything. The usual kiter you'll see on LFC will most probably be Druids, so if we must compare Druid and Ham, we can say that Druids provide a lack of booms by moving their spirits to where the group is, and they can heal from far. But doing this with Ham is still harder because Ham has insufficient incoming heal and needs to keep the mech on target, whereas spirits will just do their spirit things where you leave them. Also with Ham, you have heals and cleanse for sure, but they are not available the instant you need them. It is always click this kit to use that heal, click that kit to use that. Also, nearly all your heals, your medkit, elixir gun 5, mortar gun 5 are ground AoEs, you need to stand in them to be healed, but you have to kite and move. This is why avoiding players with bombs becomes so much more important when you are kiting with Ham. If I have to grade kiters I mentioned today, I would grade them like this. If you want to learn this mechanic, you can gradually challenge yourself as you get used to. But if you're already used to kiting green 2 with a druid, you will most probably get used to ham kiter easier. If you want to specifically train ham kiter green, I suggest your group to have a strong second heal with a good amount of outgoing heal to keep an eye on you or to cover your lack of healing. But still, it is up to you to keep yourself alive because if you focus too much on kiting and greens, you will be slacking off your support duty. So that means your second heal has to work double time to cover your lack of healing. And also if they have to keep an eye on you, that's one too many tasks that a person can handle. Your absence and lack of heals won't affect the group in general if you're doing this on normal mode, but it will become a problem when Doom separates souls. Everyone takes a huge damage with the soul separation and squad needs cleansing. There will also be a golem spawning right when Doom separates souls, so if your players play scattered around or if they stay in the wrong position, they will die to lack of healing. So you cannot focus on kiting in greens and just send your mech when you can forever. You have to be there to heal. One tip I can give is that random separate souls, prioritize your group without touching the golem first, heal and cleanse everyone and then go for the golem. If you hit the golem and then go for your group to heal them or cleanse them, you will murder them with the golem. On this try, even though I'm new to Hamkiter Green, you'll see I'm managing well, but we had many many wipes while I trained this. My main problem when I'm doing this is that I'm totally oblivious to where players with bombs are. Players in my squad most probably had to avoid me so they wouldn't kill me, 
but it should have been me who was avoiding them consciously. This is a general kiter thing, but since it's hard to heal yourself up with ham when you move around, it becomes a lot more important to avoid bombs. Other than that, I missed a few skeletons I could send my mag to, but that's about it, I guess. Later on the fight, you can just keep Doom as your target. Your mag will follow your targets, even if you move or it teleports to you, it will go back to Doom. In terms of kiting, the only thing I haven't mentioned is how to get Golem's attention. As you may know, little spiders body block attacks, so we get Mortar Gun to use on Golems. They won't block the Mortar Gun. If you're good at managing your health pool and staying alive, you should take Mad Kit as your heal skill. Because Mad Kit's auto attack has a huge range you can use to heal your group from far too. Your group will definitely need your heals. If you really need to heal the group from far, you can use Mortar Skill 5, and that one has the furthest range, I think. This is it, I'll put Tempest Build and Tempest Kiter link to the video in the description and comments below. Tempest Kiter video also explains how to do this mechanic, Kiter Green 2 mechanic from zero. Have fun training this, and I wish you good luck on your tries. See you guys on the next video.